Alright, welcome to another tutorial video. This one's on solving systems by substitution. I suggest you watch my other two substitution videos first before you do this one because this one's a little harder. Alright, just to review, when you're solving for systems, you want to solve for vo both variables. You want to have a value for both B and C. The first thing you want to do is to start off with the easier equation and the question is how do I know which one's easier out of these two? Well in this case both of them are actually easy because one variable is solved for already b equals 2c plus 7. You're gonna take that equation b the meaning of b is 2c plus 7 you're gonna substitute it for this equation right here so instead of this b, we're going to replace it with 2c plus 7, and then just write everything else, c plus 4. One indicator that you're doing it right is that when you're, you're solving already, you're only dealing with one letter, c, c. So from here, just use your typical equation skills. This one's variable on both sides. I always tell my students to write a 1. In case a variable has no coefficient or no number in the front and solve away subtract 7 to both sides you get 2c equals these cancel out 1c minus 3 subtract 1c to both sides and you get 1c equals these cancel out negative 3 so that's the same as c equals negative 3. As soon as you have one of the variables solved for, plug them in either the first or second equation so you can get the value for b. I would pick the easier one. This one's a little easier just because you're dealing with less. So you're going to take that b equals c plus 4. You already know what the value of c is, negative 3. So you're going to substitute it again for this variable right here. B equals, instead of C, we already know it's negative 3 plus 4. And now you have B solved for. B equals 1. And now you have them solved. B equals 1. C is negative 3. The teacher might make you write it as a coordinate like this. All right, it's your favorite time where you try the example on your own. So please pause the video. When you're done, unpause it for the answer. Make sure you try it out first. Little hint for you, this one's not exactly like the first example that I gave, but use your head a little bit. Uh, I even gave you a little hint below too. Start with the easier equation, and the easier equation out of these two is the one where it's easier to isolate a variable for. All right, here's the an answer for example two. The solution is x equals six, y equals negative one. So like what I told you, start off with the easier equation, which is the second one because it's easier to isolate x for it. That is step one right here. You get x equals 3.5 minus 2.5 y when you solve for x. Now that you have x solved for, you're gonna substitute that into the other equation so instead of x, we plug in that value in terms of y. And now in step two, they're all in terms of y. We can distribute, combine like terms, and solve for y. You get y equals negative 1. And finally, in step three, now that you have the value for y, just tr go back to that first equation you started off with. And I, I would even take the one where you already solved for x. Plug that value in and you get x equals 6 after you simplify and solve for it. If you are still confused, pause the video and see if you can take it slower and make some sense out of it. Hopefully that was of help and please before you log off subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.